Yvette de Corning Glass Museum is, it makes me feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> it's fabulous. Uh, and, and to look at it, it's like an all-day sucker, and it's a good thing I've got this map here because yeah. it's all over the place, and it is sweet, too. Yeah. This room here is a contemporary room? It is. This is all contemporary works that are made within the last 20 or 30 years. Now, I found out this is the largest glass museum in the world, right? That's right. Representing 35 centuries? That's right. So this century here would be the 20th, 21st the 21st century? 21st and 20th century, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look at this stuff, and you can't imagine the work that goes into it. One thing I noticed when I came here was that you could go in front of one exhibit and get lost in it and look at it forever. So, I mean, how long would you say somebody should spend here at the museum? We find the average family takes four, three to four hours here at the museum. I find a lot of people who come and they aren't expecting to spend so long at the museum and it's the end of the day and they've forgotten where they parked. They've just, you know, gotten so carried away with the museum. Well, you look at some of the pieces and they're so dimensional, you get yeah. lost inside the piece, yes. don't you? Yes, and we have several pieces on display within the galleries that are actually made that way. Glass does that very well. It's very three-dimensional. You can reflect light and so as you begin to look at the pieces, you can actually really get lost inside the lights and, and the reflection and as the, uh, as the light changes, it, it changes as well. Mm -hmm. so. Gazing around too, I mean you see something that would fascinate people of all ages. I noticed kids 19 and under are free here. That's right. Special prices for uh, seniors and uh, I like the idea too that for a couple dollars you can participate in a glass class, right? That's right. We like to say that the experience is threefold. It's see glass, see glass being made, and mm -hmm. then make it yourself. So you can see the collection, you can watch live glass making demonstrations, live glass blowing, live flame working, and then you actually, for a few extra dollars, can go and try it yourself. Well, yeah. you, know, you get jazz seeing this stuff, and yeah. you want to say, like, well, I'd like to have a piece of that in my own home. And then when I came in the front door, I saw the gift shop. Yeah. There were some fantastic items there. Yeah, we have a really large gift shop. It's an international gift shop. We try to represent glass from all um, uh, cultures, all price points all types from jewelry to yeah. accessories to housewares to fine art class. You can find anything. <laughs> I saw something there that was like $300. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, that's so beautiful. i got to find $300, you know. <laughs> but then I walked a little further. I found something for $35 that's that right. was you know, equally beautiful. So, I mean, it, it, it really truly is so something for everyone yeah. here. Yeah. And we, um, we often find people are a little hesitant to think about bringing kids to a glass museum. You know, the idea of kids in glass is a little scary. But we, um, we actually find that families have a great time here. We do a lot of programs for kids uh, at certain times of the year during school breaks. In the summertime, we do a You Design It, We Make It program where kids can design something they'd like to see made in glass and at certain mm -hmm. glass blowing demonstrations throughout the day, we'll actually make some of those pieces. Wow, so these are pretty big pieces of flowers, aren't yes. they? <laughs> Pistols, stamens, yep. petals. Yep, and uh, a lot of this work is done in different kinds of techniques. Some of them are cast glass, some of them are blown. There's just the, the technique of glass making is so varied and so fascinating. We try to show a lot of that here and we try to give people a sample of how they could do it themselves. Look at the contrast in these pieces, huh? Yes, these are beautiful. A lot of the contemporary artists we find are working bigger and bigger, so you find larger and larger installations than glass and um, room size installations even. It's I amazing. I feel like I'm ripping off our audience because we've been talking about this three and a half minutes and I'd like to have you show us around for hours because it is truly fantastic. That's right. 35 centuries. It's a lot of glass. 35 centuries and yeah. a lot of square feet and yeah. you can participate and it's just a fabulous place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thinking of staying the night in Corning? Well, the Radisson Hotel Corning is situated right in the heart of the Gaffer District within walking distance to shopping and dining. A lovely open lobby greets guests with an inviting atmosphere preparing them for relaxation and enjoyment. Grill 125 offers regional specialties and the Stuben Bar is the perfect place to meet friends and enjoy an appetizer.